Hi, this is MadeByMommy.com presenting to you a Thanksgiving turkey as designed by Michelle the Looney Loomer. I've been getting many, many requests on my website to create my own turkey. And I confess, every turkey I made looked like a duck. So Michelle, who is a fan of my page, posted this photo, which you see right here, of a turkey and I was so impressed. I spoke with her directly and asked her if she'd be willing to share her design with all of you and she wanted to do so but didn't want to record her own video so she asked if I could. Uh, I'm honored Michelle to present your Thanksgiving turkey and I hope that you all enjoy it. So to make the Thanksgiving turkey we will need four colors of rubber bands. I'm using all Rainbow Loom brand rubber bands. The colors are a brown for the body, a yellow and an orange, and a red, which are used on the head, and then you also add in a green on the tail. Now the brown that I'm using in the body is actually called burgundy on the Rainbow Loom website if you wanted to order it. Uh, I think it looks like a really good brown though, so that's how I use it, but it is called burgundy if you wanted to get the same color. To start, make sure your arrow is pointing forward and that your pegs are lined up straight across on the bottom. We're going to start with a single yellow rubber band and to match Michelle's picture, we're going to start on the second peg going forward. Then we're going to take three yellow bands, oops, that's four, three yellow bands, and place them on the next peg going forward. On the next peg, three orange bands going straight forward. Switching to brown, two at a time, going forward, and another two going forward. I'll make sure that this chart is posted on madebymommy.com for you to use as well. Two more browns going straight forward. And then we're going to take a single brown from this peg on the diagonal to the center and another single brown band from the same peg on the side all the way across. So we worked in the straight line, single yellow, three yellow, three orange, two brown, two brown, two brown, and then came back to put one to the center and one brown all the way to the left. Moving along, two brown at a time for the next three pegs going forward. One, two, three. And we're going to repeat that in the center, two, two, and big surprise, two more. And one more time on the left side, two brown rubber bands, two brown rubber bands, and finally, we've got two brown rubber bands going straight forward. And now to make the beautiful 
tail that she has on this turkey. We're going to take four rubber bands. We want to have one green, one yellow, one red, and one orange. And the order of these doesn't have to be consistent across the pegs. It looks good even if they are in a different order on the next peg. But we're going to take all four and put them straight forward. And green, yellow, red, orange. Again, from the center peg going straight forward. Yellow, red, orange, and green. All four together. Going straight forward. And that is the basic setup. Now we need to add a few cap bands. So we're going to do that matching her pattern again, which will be on the Made by Mommy website. Take one band around the three here, twist and bring it over again. Now in the center, one band, but not doubling it. Here, one band, not doubling it. And then at the end here, we're going to do a single band again, but double it. This is what's going to help make sure that our turkey looks big and round in the middle. That's your placement for all of your rubber bands. And we're ready to begin hooking. Starting from the bottom where the tail is, we are not going to loop these pegs, those are the ones that will stay loose. We're going to start here. What we want to do is the two outside ones first. So I'm going to do the left side and then I'm going to do the right side. And then to make sure this look neat, I'm going to pop that brown one over the center that it doesn't look loose later and hook that center peg. Now we move straight forward from left to right repeating on the next row leftmost straight forward to the next hook, center one, straight forward, and on the right side. Okay. And the next row from the left, forward, from the center on the diagonal to that same peg. And then all the way on the right, on the diagonal, and that one has got to stretch a little bit tight. And now moving along the neck, go in all of those bands to hook those two brown ones that go forward. And repeat up this whole row. And now we've got just the single one left. Pull it up, release the other one, pull it through the center and tight to make a knot. And that's what's going to keep your whole structure together. You're now ready to take the basic turkey body off of the loom. This is what your turkey will look like after you've pulled it off the loom. 
And to complete the turkey, there's a little bit of fussing that has to be done. First, what we're going to do is move this loose rubber band so that it helps to curve the neck of the turkey and comes out on top here. To do that, you want to place your hook through the center of your turkey where you would like that latch to come out. Hook the yellow rubber band and pull it all the way through your turkey's body. That will also make your beak go on top. Now depending on how you're going to attach this, you may want to use this loop as it is or for more flexibility you can add a second rubber band here like I do on my candy cane video uh, to give it a little bit more room to breathe. Then once you're happy with the curve of the neck you're going to attach the legs. I've knotted these already. You knot them either on your finger if your fingers are small enough or around the hook just to create a little knot and then you want to attach them to the bottom of the turkey body. Again pick your location, put your hook through, tuck in and pull through to create a slip knot for one foot and then repeat the same process for the second foot. There you go, now your turkey has feet and then to add a wing, figure out where you want to place it, put your hook through, and pull through the center of the loop and pull tight. create your wing and finally because it's a turkey it needs to have that red that hangs off the top of its nose to make that take your single red band wrap it around your hook four times pull through like that and then a second red rubber band pull through and this one we're gonna slip knot take one of those reds through the center of the other and pull tight so that that's secured on itself and we're then going to place it through the top of the beak so I'm putting my hook underneath those orange bands and pulling through and then up and over to secure pull tight and there you have your Thanksgiving turkey I hope you enjoyed it and I look forward to making more videos for you in the future. Thank you to Michelle the Looney Loomer for inspiring us and for sharing her design. I hope you liked my tutorial. If you did, please consider subscribing by clicking the button below and I will bring you more designs soon. Thank you.